look, he's he's walking his pet cow. That's that's interesting. Oh. Hmm. I think his cow was named Ribeye. Hmm. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to Osterhof. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there there goes Ribeye. Okay. Um he must have pulled him out of here. That's interesting. I thought they just kind of appeared. Anyway, yeah, we're back. Ostrov. I've spent the last couple of hours working on the video intro to, uh, um, what is that? That's a house. Oh, to RimWorld. And I'm animating, you know, the, the kind of iconic picture of uh, RimWorld with the planet and the ship kind of broken up over the top? Well, I'm animating that ship flying in and exploding and breaking up over the planet. And it's it's been a lot of fun learning how to do that. I've got a pretty inexpensive video editing program, and I'm amazed I've been able to do this with it. But anyway, what are we doing here today? Um, let's see. Farm 4. Oh, Farm 4. Which one was 4? Was it this one? I set one to women only for a, a little while, didn't I? I have a feeling that I did. At least I wrote that on my notes. What was I thinking of? I don't know. They're all normal now. Okay, well, scratch that one. Um, trade is happening. Okay. 20 days left. Sunflower oil is, is was left over from last episode. Okay. Do we want to do any more of this is what it comes down to. There's nothing that's been ordered so far in town for everybody. Sunflower... Harvest. <clears throat> harvest? The harvest has started. The harvest has started. Oh, I didn't even realize that last time. Okay. Let's do that. And get everybody out here. Which means I need to probably shut down all the the building construction for a while. Just to make sure that, uh, that we get people out here to get the harvest in. We'll leave that one house, though. It's... It's uh, progressed quite far, so where is that one? Right over there. Really no benefit to leaving it right now. Well, it'll, it'll aid this one, but okay, we'll leave it. Over here, pause, there, pause. No, it didn't move again. There. It feels like I moved, because when I go to the edge of the screen, it, it, it scrolls over on me. So, it feels like I moved over to it. Pause. All right. So, I've got to get this one going. I did. Okay. Just filled that one up. Great. Over here, we're good. There. And there. So, this is going to get the lease now. But, that's actually okay. This one, I'm sure, is going to get filled. Uh, we've got, well, three and a half months left. So, I'm not worried about running out of time so much. And, but... Just... Noticing there's only six buckets out there, but it said sunflower harvest. That looks like 20 something. I mean, the two is right there above the 21 of the flower, so like two something point two. Which we found out last time, last harvest, that the harvest number, like harvest potatoes 4.83, only represents what's in buckets on the ground, what has been harvested. So it doesn't represent um, the potential of the whole thing. So, I mean, there's probably 40 sitting in here, but there's four right there. So I'm trying to figure out what that sunflower harvest means. Anyway, sunflower otherwise, gone. Sunflower oil, gone. There's nothing in that list. So we have nothing for the town. Over here, gone. Here, empty. Yeah. Sitting in the trader, 20. So, what do you say we take you down to 10? And that should release 10 into the uh, into the town. And let's go ahead and do a sale of 10. Sunflower oil, 10. We'll split it up that way. Uh, deal. That's another 100 coming in to go toward more cattle next round, whenever that happens. And that'll satisfy both. I was going to say we've got another harvest coming in right now, which is going to start pumping new into the economy. So that's fine. 
Anyway, let's speed it up. I don't think there's anything else hanging out there that we have to worry about, so... Yeah, just let her run. Now, this snow. I want to see how many cows are actually stuck in the world. We've only moved two cows and a bull this entire year. And I've left it that way intentionally. We have slaughtered quite a few, but we've only moved those. So I want to know if any of those represent what's stuck. We had stuck one, two, and one. All these are moving though, which tells me that the game mistook this as a fallow field and it stuck one of the cow sheds cattle into it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that's one, eight. So if there's eight here, I don't know if there are one or two that aren't moving. No, they're all moving. So do you have eight? You have 12. You have nine, eight, teen, and nine. Okay, 18. Hmm. We have one bull in there. A lot of cows in there. Let's take out one more cow. Get down to 17. I don't know how many of all those cows are suddenly going to have babies. And when that happens. You know, I would like to at least get to the till all the cattle are moving in and then start moving cattle around again. But I don't want to miss out on any babies. So let's make a little more room. You guys are hired and awaiting. Where are you at? Show path. You're off to get another one. Okay. And there's one heading in right there too. Oh, that is the one. I saw this person walking the same pathway. Okay. So just made more ribeye. And beef is going out all through the town. Um, I was going to check the budget, but where are we now? End of August. We've got plenty of time to, to figure out all of this. They're just starting to get to work over there though. That one's doing good. This one barely started. Got lots of people there, though. They're just really taking their time mowing through that. And we only field one over here, too. Okay. Um, budget. How are we looking now? So we have exported 300, and we're 300 to the good, basically, for the year. Meaning, when I reduce the rent and reduce the prices in the markets, that reduced our our uh, uh, profits for the town there so we're gonna find some kind of a balance point there so that we're getting the local sales to fund our economy but not doing it so aggressively that we're driving them all bankrupt I haven't seen any messages pop up for a little while except you know we expect to find them from these two houses here that I got a problem family is moving out the Makitas are gone okay Interesting. Citizen. Sophia. Oh, we have a Sophia and a citizen. Because, boy, that moves so fast at the zoom. Yep, we have a Sophia and a citizen. Okay. So, in the end, we may end up with two citizens there. Meaning they no longer have names in the game. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, how are we doing over here at the fish? Ah, uh, we have a fisherman out there. Okay, you we haven't got anybody to work over here yet. You, fishing boat, don't have anybody to work here yet either. So we're still waiting for one more fishing boat to be ordered. And we're waiting for a couple people to hire in over here. And that'll be fine. Don't have to have this going. Fish in the economy right now, I have a feeling, is huge. 35. And does that count what's over here? There's 30 over here and there's two over there um is there something over here is that the extra two there's a 0.7 well maybe add all those fractions up you get another one or two in there okay so we don't really need more fish i was just looking to give jobs out on the the perimeter of the town we need to get another one or two things over here and two or three more somethings over here i don't know what that is hmm Otherwise, water, we're doing good at this end. We have water over here now for these guys. We have water over here. So we probably could use another well kind of in this area, huh? The, the less they have to walk to go get their stuff, the sooner they're ready to go back to work. Or so is my assumption. It may be that they have a designated amount of time to rest whether they're doing all that time sitting at a bench or they're going off to get water. 
could be. Maybe that's why they tend to sit at a bench for different durations. Some just sit down, immediately get up and go off to their job. Others sit there and they're there for a while. They just kind of camp on it. So I never really can detect any solid patterns to be sure about anything. Um, we are middle of September now. How are we doing? We are just getting into two. Ouch. Okay. So, yeah, I think we probably still do need more people. Not that we've got jobs for them, though. I don't know if we'll ever really find that balance point. That the game doesn't have enough there yet. When we get the chicken industry in here and we get, uh, well, I forget the road map. All the other different industries that are going to be heading into this. As well as trading that happens by by boat off to the uh, to the ocean. So, at least by river, but I would imagine ocean and then by river to wherever. You know, so there's trading coming. There's quite a few other, you know, major parts of the game. I don't know what the word I'm trying to come up with um, that that are yet to come. At which time there'll be a bigger variety of jobs to pop into the economy and keep everybody employed. So we're still early enough in the game right now that we're scratching for for enough uh, variety to keep things going. Um. What should I be doing right now is what I'm trying to figure out. Let me just sit back and, and watch for a while. We're doing good over here. Get to the end of September. We're doing fairly good over here. Then we'll be able to release some of these workers and they'll start filling in the blanks on the other ones. So that's going to help out. Over here is doing pretty good too. Okay. So the potatoes are going to get done first because what was the hardest field to get people... Uh, working out now we've got some of the you know the most number of, of people living out here needing a job so yeah I guess we do need to kind of get the rest of these built that'll help out over here don't know if I want any more houses out there or not maybe over here this is where we could use some more and we do have them set just got to get them built which is probably this winter that's when it'll get done and this is the first farm and this is when I was doing the much larger fields and I've since realized that, that was a mistake. We've gone to these smaller sizes. So I think this winter, we'll tear this all down and re, you know, replace all the fields. A little smaller variety of them, squished in a little bit tighter. And make it uh, a little more compact. Family out of food. You're over here, you're the trader. And I just don't know what to do with that. You're way out of money. Uh, the trader, you're the trade manager. So, Yurima Didik, you are right there. You're making 3.6 for a wage, whereas everybody else is a percentage of 2.4. You get the biggest, one of the biggest wages short of the, uh, of the mayor in town, and yet I can't keep them solvent. So, there is something wrong with this household. Something is subtracting that should be adding. Or we're going through supplies at double speed, and so it is taking out the money too fast. You are over here, and you're just out at the edge. You should be doing pretty good right now, though. Yeah, you're all working. Oh, that tree and a farm. Yeah, that should be. Uh, we should have money rolling in here. Must have just bought something, and you know, restocked or something. Hmm. What else is there to watch right now? Okay, we have. The ability to get industry going right now. Um, if we were to prioritize gathering for just a little while, there and here. And here. Do that for a week. Get a few things stored in here, then these guys can rush out and start getting some. Them and, um, look at that leather right there, and these guys. Rush out and go and start grabbing some sunflower seeds or sunflower, and then we can get uh, the production industries up and running again. That's what we've been waiting for. So another couple days on that should be enough to give that first trip you know, in and start uh, working on those. How are you guys doing? One in each, and you are waiting for wheat to arrive. Hmm. Kind of wonder if we want to do something. Warehouse doesn't deal with wheat, though. No. And I hate to build a whole granary just to move wheat in closer to these guys. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. 
I don't know. Anyway, gathering back off. Off. And... You never got turned on. <laughs> I must have misclicked. Okay, so off and off and off. Okay. This family next door to the other one. Forestry and greenery. And just barely making it. Hmm. Odd. Except that they... Now, again, I've never seen shoes listed here. So I don't know that they didn't just buy a big load of shoes and it doesn't show in the household. Um, which could be why some of these are going out of, of business. Um, Makita. Family is moving out still? Family's out of firewood. Okay, I've never seen that come up before. Firewood over here is fine. Stored. So we're out of food, out of firewood. So does it wait till they're out of water? And then it gives up? Well, at what point they're going to move out? So there will be some move outs because there's still some balance issues with the game. Some things just aren't quite right yet. Yeah, there's the Sophia house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're as rich as can be because they don't have to buy any food. Anyway, we're almost done there. We are done here. All right, let's limit you guys to something like that to move more people into these jobs. Though I've not really seen anybody take the laborer positions. We've got them open, at least in a limited fashion in these other places. And in fact, I can take you guys down a little bit. There's only a little bit left to do over there. And this one I can take down to there. So with that, we've got plenty of people around. They could jump into this position here. Um, even take that up one notch to see if we can't get little, some more people in here to help out because we're still st stuck over here. Yeah, this one is a problem. we got to get these houses built this year. And we got to make these, these uh, fields a little bit smaller. That'll help out there too. Anyway, so that's our one um, field of wheat this year. I'll go through and maybe off camera I'll, I'll rebalance that whole thing, make that work. Something was off there. Um, wheat though stored up is 36 so there's plenty of wheat we don't need more than maybe two at the most probably more like one a year we'll be fine there otherwise that's done i just bring in the stuff in right now i could say prioritize gathering be curious i've had several people in the comments tell me to hit prioritize gathering at the end and it will call people in from the town to get this thing done i don't think it works that way I'm pretty sure that means among those who work here, they are going to prioritize gathering. It has nothing to do with everybody else in town. The carpenter is still going to be the carpenter. You know, so I don't see that being quite how how that works. I'm pretty sure that button there, that that you know, check in that box is localized within this menu, within these people only. That's my take on how this works. So hidden prioritize gathering doesn't get it in any faster it just stops them from uh, from harvesting anymore until they brought everything else in first which in many cases guarantees that you're not going to get that last field harvested because they spent all their time making all these little trips bringing everything in and never getting to that last field that's the way I see it we're still over here we're still waiting for any of these positions to fill to get more people to gather and it's not happening so I'm pretty sure that's not how that works Okay, you guys are done. You're just bringing it in. You guys have all taken a break, haven't you? Rest, 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 and a rest. You're all resting. We're starting November. Okay, open you back up again. You guys are really starting to worry me. All right, we're going to take you up to 130% of, of pay. Let's get you in here. I need the sunflower seeds in. And 130 is still not... I thought that would, you know, insta-fill, and it didn't. You guys, working. Okay, the rest are all done around here, for the most part. Just need to get these last ones done in the last three weeks of the year. You guys are fine, though you, if you're smart, you'd have gone over to the, the farm that's paying 130%. <laughs> all right, what we got going over here? We still only got one more person after doing that. Wow. Well, we'll kick that one up again. 
and uh, again, 150% and I can't get anybody in here. We know they exist. We have easily had five in all four farms at one time. We have three there, so there's two available. And there's two more available, so there should be at least four in here. Plus several houses have constructed since then. So you should easily be able to fill that up. That is really odd. Um, in case, and he went away. In case I'm entirely wrong, let's... And we've taken everybody out of the cow shed. Huh! To go work in the field. One, one, one. Hmm. Who was that? Svetlana Ivaninko. Was her first name that, or is that one of the kids? <clears throat> Ivaninko. Mikola and Marina. Okay, kids of 12, 9, and 7. So, where do you live? We have a new Ivaninko family that just moved in. Aha. Uh -huh. Siver Severiad and Svetlana. Okay, so we're recycling last names now. I'll never have a chance to figure out if, if some of these folks move out. Though... Roslav Ribnik is 21 and still living at home. So I, I'm guessing they don't move out. That isn't uh, programmed in yet. That's that's my guess. How are we doing over here? Half a month left. We have only one extra person over here. Okay, then we're going to take these down to one person each. Except for this one. Still got to get that in. One person each just until the end of November. And I still can't get anybody to move over here and get to work. Hmm. These are available too. There they are. They all got their firewood in. And they all finally pulled out the newspaper and checked the help wanted section and went, ooh, 150%. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get it all done now in time. So we'll kick the speed up and just see what's going to happen. At some point, did he ever come in and get his sunflower oil? Don't know. Don't know. Ten are gone and ten are still sitting here. If I pull this out of here... Well, I don't really need to now because we did bring in some sunflower oil. So, yeah, there's one right there. And... You guys that were doing some work. Okay. So we still have almost a full house over here. I, mean, I could take it up like that, but it's, I'd be surprised if it did any good. Considering that I couldn't even get four, how would I suddenly get ten? <clears throat> Unless the game deals in averages. In which case I want twenty so I can get an average of, of fifteen. Or Anyway, we're just about to the end and we're about to lose all of this. So yeah, this needs to be rethought. This isn't working. There it is. Okay. Slow her back down. There we go. Family out of money, family out of money. <laughs> I'm going to be out of money if I keep doing this. So you guys drop back down to 100% and take you back down to 5 and let you guys do your thing here. Alright, so in that case, actually, we're bringing things in still so that's actually pretty important let's rehire all of this get all the stuff brought in so it is not an issue for next spring and actually I do need this brought in so that I can move these fields darn okay take you back up to say 130 till this gets done otherwise let's get hmm closest house here I guess it's just these four yeah, we didn't really do anything else. I don't want to get into here. We could do something out in here. We could. That would kind of force this pathway around and, and normalize a little bit. Get a... Man, we have lots of houses here, though. It's right here that I would want the house. Okay, let's set one in there. Okay, so hold down the alt... And what, touch the T? There. 
That's about as close as I'm going to get. Okay, so if you went something like there, that gives us a pathway in both directions around there. Okay, I'll do that. And shift. And do I do one more? I could. Something like that. That uh, Yeah, that surrounds that road. Gives us this little path right here. Okay, that works. And we'll leave these things running. We won't uh, pause them. Because they're closer to home. Closer to everyone's houses. So they should get built first. Even if they're at the back end of the queue, I have a feeling they would be built first. Because they're in the middle and, and near people who are looking for something to do. It tends to take the queue into consideration unless there's one somewhere in the queue that's really close. Then it ignores the queue, the queue completely. Family's out of money. That's this group. You guys are hanging in there. We were at negative four dollars or negative four. Now we're negative one and we've brought all this stuff in. I don't... Wait a minute. Forestry and market stall. Trader's gone. Um, different name, too. They did move out and someone else moved in. Okay. I'll probably see it when I'm editing. I've never even noticed the uh, the horse move in. In fact, is there anything else I didn't notice? There's no yellows. I want these guys to show up. These guys are the ones that want the shoes. Otherwise, um... Oh, we're... Okay. Let's check cattle. Cattle... There's still a lot of cattle that haven't been brought in. Is that a problem? Okay. What's going on here? We have somebody there. We have someone there. We have nobody here. Let's get this hired. 110. Okay. And we have somebody here. Need you guys... First of all, all the hay and water enough is in there. Okay. So there's somebody there to go get the cattle. Turn it back up to two and let's watch them do that. Zoom out a little bit. We should see somebody pop in here or here, right there. Now, oh, we're going to be confused with the ones that are also going to gather the, uh, the the foods over here. But someone's got to get the cattle and lead them back in. Just a matter of waiting for that to happen. You are what? You're heading... No, you're filling up the uh, clothes. There's a whole bunch of clothes that just showed up. And they're being reserved the second they're going in. Interesting. So we're going to see a whole bunch of people show up here to get clothes. We got reserved 0.9. It went up one tenth at a time. I'm waiting to see 10 people come in and grab a tenth of those clothes. There goes the cattle over here. So they're heading into oh, one of the of them. Should be somebody grabbing the cattle over here. 0.8. Does someone just go in there? Does she? Okay, you left. I think you work there. Waiting for these guys. Watching that. Watching this. <laughs> okay, I want to see how many cattle leave here. The cattle that were out here, I think they're gone, right? 0.7. I didn't, still didn't see you actually walk up and do it. But I get the sense that... Okay, right here. No. You're not going to do it when I'm looking, are you? Anyway, cattle are still there. You. Where are you going? You're going to work. But you... No, you went and got it and you left. You're a kid, right? No, you went and got something and left. Huh. So it pre-reserves everything. And then... Eventually someone shows up and, and gets picks up their order. Interesting. Anyway, these guys have not gone in. These are the mystery ones. I'm still a little worried about what's happening there. I wanted to move a bunch of cows around right now, but I don't want to disturb things till I know what's up. But all these guys are still moving, so they're not frozen like these two. Hmm. Okay. We are nearing the end of December. Let's try to keep in mind. I want to check the budget, see where we actually ended. This is done. Field. I think you guys are done. All right. Um, I don't know anymore who's in desperate need of, of employment, so I'm just going to take it down to one there. You guys got plenty of people working. You got plenty of people working. You hardly have enough to get the job done. Hmm. 
And we left these houses open. They're actually working on one. Okay. But you wouldn't know it by the bar here. It's interesting how all this work can be done, and it's just a tiny little blue dot there. Hmm. These cows are still here. You guys are still going off to get more clothes. <laughs> okay. Now, I didn't actually pull any workers out of these. No, but I still can't get them to stay employed because of the 130%, but they're not taking advantage of the 130%, so that can't be it. Let's take you up to 110 on both of, or all of the, well, that one's fine. There, there, okay. I need to get, you know, that one's going, now, boy, we jumped into that one. I wonder if one of these, if someone from this one is going to go and get the cattle. And it hasn't happened because there's nobody employed there. Two there, one there, none there. I'm going to have to equalize all of these just to maintain employment, aren't I? Uh, there, 110, so it's this one. Yeah, 110. Okay, this should keep somebody working in all of them, right? There, there, and there. Okay. Now is somebody going to go get cows? I don't know which one of these didn't get their cattle yet. I don't know if there's a problem with the cows being outside. Are we going to slowly start losing them? Hmm. Okay. This one is done. This worries me. It's before the end of February, I want to move these fields. Over here, we never got the rest of our cows in. Strange. Or did I... I didn't actually move them all to here, did I? Don't know. But they're not moving. So I'm going to take it back down to one speed and let's think about cattle. What do we really have here? This is the one that had the most. Now we have 19. And we're not slaughtering. You know, I worried about that 40 cattle all moving into this one. I wondered if it was going to be broken afterward. These guys are sitting here and they're not awaiting anything. You are working too. So, I don't think it's working. I'll bet you I can put you guys here and they will go away really quick. You are not there yet. Okay. Now, we're going to see that happen. Let's kick it up a little bit. So, I'm going to... Hmm, who knows? Here... You are working. You are... You're loading up this. Oh, interesting. Okay. Are you going to grab cattle now? Because you're on your way in. And, nope, you're going home. Hmm. Do we have you guys accounted for in here yet? No. Do you have you working yet? No. Okay. Yeah, I need to get someone else working in there. Do we have people here? We Okay, we're starting to... They're skipping that position going right for the labor position. That's the smart one right there. Who is that? That is Fedor Slipchenko. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. 130% wages. Uh-huh. This one's almost done. Let's take you down to one person now. That puts a few more people out there available. This one's almost done. Let's take you down to two people. You'll be able to finish that off easy. And that should give us lots of extra people now to jump in here. And all of the cow sheds except the ones that I want. Where are you now? You are working. Um, I think you're in there. Okay, we've got them in here now, which means that we're now we're working. I think there's a problem over here. We have to really be careful about this one cow shed. That's the one we hauled all the cattle into. I haven't missed any trades, have I? No. I find that I don't even notice messages come up anymore. We see the out of money so often that I just glaze right over them now. All right, now let's move things around. You, what do we want? I still don't know if one bowl does the same job as two inside of a cow shed. Would two bowls mean that we'd have twice as many uh, offspring by the end of the winter or by whatever season? Or is it just the presence of, of a bowl? Is it, is it a one zero situation or is it, you know, the odds increase the more you have? That I don't know. So I'm tempted to leave two bowls in this one. Let's put this baby one into into there. Wait, where am I? There. That's the, the one that's lacking. Okay. Put the Temeth one into there. And 
two cows. I want to leave four cows and a couple bulls in each one. So this cow could go into there. So eventually we're looking at two bulls and two cows right now. So two more cows need to go over there. So from this one, let's grab another cow and another cow. It's possible I moved some of those cows into this one instead. That's why there's so many. But I won't know for a while. And then, so we're down to 15 over here. This one's got nine. Let's set these two for slaughter. That one just instantly uh, went away as soon as I did that. And let's grab another couple out of here to go into there. Like that, okay. So there's two coming and one, two, three, and then some babies. Okay, over here, we've got 10. So one, two, three, four, and a bull, another cow, Let's set you to slaughter as well. So that gets some more out there. We'll let the babies grow up. And so we get some more shoes being made, uh, fuel the economy a little bit more, and January. All right, let's go here for a while. So we're dealing with this year here. We traded 400 and we brought in 320. We came out ahead 325, so we lost 75 for the year. So if we were to increase the right the rent by one click, that ought to be enough to to even us out. Assuming we sell the same amount this year as last year. All right, you guys, still two people and a laborer. Laborers are odd, 100%, the same wage. So we're still having trouble getting them over here, which tells me it is a distance thing. That's about the only explanation there. All right, you're done there. Over here. You are probably here because you live really close. You live right there. Okay, so you want to work at this farm. This one's not an option for you, and that's much further away. That's my guess. Um, I'm not going to let these guys sneak through another winter here. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> I forget about them. They can just, uh, you know, take, kind of hide out over there and, and get paid for not doing anything. Wood fishing boat. We're having a hard time getting this fishing boat done, aren't we? Although right now there's nobody to, uh, they're not going to build a fishing boat when it's icy. Okay, so all that's done. All right, that's fine. So we've got to get these last ones in, get the speed back up. Cattle's figured out. We still have somebody working here, right? Yes. We have somebody working here? Yes. So stored hides three. You'll get to them eventually. And you guys are collecting them as well as collecting hemp. So we're bringing lots of stuff in right now. Good. Over here, we need to be bringing in all the sunflower. And we're really kind of not. Well, maybe we're bringing it in so slow, our, our yields were not very good. That's all. That information is gone now. But our yields were not very good this time. So they're going to bring this in quite quickly. or It's not going to amount to much, each of these little buckets. So really... One guy in here is all we're going to need this time. We're not going to... Or this whole thing's going to shut down probably mid-spring and we're, the whole sunflower industry is going to be done. Over here, you guys are three left. Okay. That, we're down to, to minimum there anyway now. Over here, there's five left. And there's two of you left to do it. Take you down to one. And you'll finish that job. Over here, we've got seven cows now. Over here, we've got six cows. Good. Hay and water is good. All right. Over there. Hay and water is good. We're down to nine. Here, we're down to seven. There, we've still got 13. And we've got eight. Let's move the babies out of here. So that bowl can stay. But this one, drop into there. That one, drop into there. That one over there. And that one over there. And there's even more. Okay, you go there. You go there, and you go... How many more are stacked down there? Wow. And you go there. Okay. Lots of babies. So two bulls, four cows. That's kind of my thinking for for what to, uh, what to do in each one of these. Everything after that is they become an adult. We'll cycle them in and out and keep them going. So if there's something wrong with that reasoning, let me know. That's what I'm... That's my guess at the moment. Over here. There. No. So I don't have any more adults that I can 
mark for slaughter and keep this thing going. We have one, two, three, four, and two bulls. So nothing I can do there. There. One, two, three, four, four cows and a bull. Okay. And same thing there. All right, well, that's done then. And that's the first noise I've heard of in quite a while. Um, let's take it back down. Let's get all of these opened up as well. Continue. I really want these houses in. Okay. So that's for those guys to be doing. Whoever is, whoever is available right now. Keep everybody else employed that we can. Um, good. We're starting to get all this stuff in. As soon as we get these done right here. Okay. So I think of what I will do off screen, because I need to end this episode now, is go ahead and redo the farm here. So it looks a little bit smaller, a little more like this setup right here, and see if next year is far more manageable. And then hopefully next episode, during the winter, we'll get a couple of these houses done, especially, well, that one just got done. Okay. So we'll uh, hopefully see a normal farm season here, like we were seeing in all the other ones. So with this, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.